Houston, we have a problem. What's up everyone? Today I'm happy to share with you all my latest LEGO mock, and that's based off of the Rocket Launch Center. It's set number 60351, and it really is an awesome set. It kind of only has one problem, and that's that it's not modular ready or city friendly. So I guess maybe it's not a big enough problem to call Houston about, but I mean I had to do something for that video intro, right? But anyway, I ended up mocking this set and turning it into this guy. So here's my version of the Rocket Launch Center. And if you end up liking it, I did make instructions for it available on Rebrickable, and I'll leave a link for that in the description for you. I actually ended up making two versions of this mock, which I'll explain later. But the instructions for both versions, as well as the additional parts files, are also included. So as you can see, my mock combines the two smaller buildings in the set and incorporates the launch tower into a single pad. At first I tried to make this into a true alternate build, but there just weren't enough pieces to make it look right, so I had to add some extra parts. This version here is the one I built for my city of Fredericksburg and I gave it a plate-based foundation in order to utilize those big plates that were included in the set and to minimize the extra parts that I needed. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually one and a quarter modulars wide, or 40 studs. And that odd increment is just because that's the amount of room I had for it in my city. But like I mentioned, I did make a second version of this mock, which you probably already guessed is a little wider. This version is a more normal one and a half modulars wide, or 48 studs, and it uses a base plate foundation. Never mind that observatory part on top, the program I used for the instructions just doesn't have those pieces yet, so I photoshopped the real top on so you could get a sense of what it would look like. But as you can see, the main difference on this one is that the sidewalk continues around the corner, taking advantage of that extra width. The building is also moved over a couple studs towards the sidewalk, which allows for some more room on the driveway for the car to make it through easier. Alright, let's go back to the version that I actually built, because the rest of the features are all the same. Out in front of the building we have a sidewalk, and then some grass with a few flowers and trees. There's also an important security gate blocking the driveway, because we can't just have anyone catching a ride to the moon. And then this little wall that I added here also surrounds the back side of the center for even more added security. I mean, if that waist-high wall won't stop intruders, I don't know what will. As you can see, I did tile over the driveway area, which does cost a little more, but I think it looks really great. Originally I had a speed bump back here, which was great because it kept people from driving way too fast, but I ended up taking it out and going with the tiles, just because I thought it looked better. You could leave those out, but they are somewhat structural in this plate-based version. So if you do, you'll have to have something connecting the bottom layer of plates right here. The driveway is a little tight on this version, and the car can't quite make it through at the corner here, hence why I gave it a little more room on the base plate version, but it's not too bad. Now the base plate version will be stronger, but this one's fine as long as you just carry it with two hands. The tower is pretty much the same, but it does have a few tweaks so that it won't overhang the edges of the base. And then going over to the building, we see that the garage is in the back, the control room is out front, and the observatory is on top. All of these have the same original features, they've just been integrated together. I did add a side window towards the tower so the minifigures can keep an eye on everything, and if you rotate the palm tree down, you can actually take it out if you want to get in there. I'm going to go ahead and propose that minifigures don't quite have as sensitive hearing as we do, and that's why they can have a rocket launch center right in the middle of their city. Lastly, we can see that with a few little changes, we can make the rocket look infinitely better. By just adding a few slopes on the front and the back, we now have a nice uniform look. And it's still functional. I don't know why LEGO didn't do this in the first place. So there you go guys, that's my Rocket Center mock. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments, and remember if you want to build it yourself, I put a link for the instructions for it in the description for you. And if you missed my latest Corner Boutique Hotel mock, you should definitely check that one out next. Otherwise, hope you have a great day.